Hello, Tony. It's Nigel Farage here. Really sorry I couldn't be there today, but I'm here to say many, many congratulations. You've got the wedding done, just like in the end, we got Brexit done. Yes, John, tip me the wink about all this. And Tony and Nicola, I hope you're having a fantastic day there in Croatia. The sun is shining and wishing you all the very, very best for your future together. Remember, bit of give and take on both sides in a relationship, otherwise it ends in Brexit. So you both remember, got to give a little bit. Have a great day. Hello? Hello? Ah, congratulations to you both. Tony, you can get off Tinder now. And Grinder. I met Tony almost 20 years ago. I was hung over his balls when we walked into the lecture theatre on the very first day of university. Everybody was sitting at the front, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Then I noticed a shadowy figure sat right on the back row. I approached with caution. Excuse me, mate. What's your name? Tony! We instantly became good friends and that very night we hit the booze hard again a double vision at the student union and we've been doing the exact same thing for the following 20 years. Since then we've lived together, travelled the world together and shared many experiences. I've never had a crossword with Tony and he's proved a loyal friend. He's jumped in front of a punch for me twice over the years, both bouncers. I'd like to thank you for that and hope one day I have the opportunity to repay these selfless acts. Which leads me nicely on to another word from a friend from across the water. I just wanted to say, have a great day. <sighs> I think all of the lads can agree that Tony Stagdo will go down in history as one of the very best. We had him dressed up as an air hostess. A Power Ranger. In full United kit. Whilst completing a long checklist of dares. These included texting Nicola and saying he was having second thoughts about the wedding, consuming urine, and telling a local that he hated Belfast and running away. I think you can all agree that he completed every task like a boss. I'm proud of you, mate. As we know, Tony's a lifelong Liverpool supporter and season ticket holder. I thought it would be nice to get him a message from Stevie G, but he was too expensive. Next, I thought Michael Owen, but he was too boring. So I decided against it. Finally, I managed to get in contact with a nice local lad from Tucky. I give you Mr. Robbie Fowler. Tony, how are you doing, pal? Robbie Fowler, you may just wanted to send you a message because I've had a few friends uh, been in touch and told me all. When I say a few friends, I mean one, John, has been in touch and told me all about you, pal. I know that yourself and the lovely Nicola are about to get married, so huge congratulations. Uh, but also, I believe you've managed to get a, tw well, been on the season ticket list for 20 years and now you've managed to get one, pal. So congratulations, which just coincides with getting married, mate. So, uh, A, you probably won't be going to game as much as what you think anyway, because obviously you're married and now, obviously, uh, Nicola will be the boss and everything she says will be right and you'll be wrong. And, um, yeah, any little arguments, mate. And, yeah, you've got to admit that you are wrong. She's always right. Uh, she'll wear the trousers, so if she want you not to go to the game then you're not going to the game simple as mate but hey congratulations uh but also in all seriousness congratulations to both of you i know everyone's obviously waited a while and everyone's looking forward to the wedding so uh good luck with that uh and also what i will say i believe the kit you're out in um in a full man united kit for your uh for your stag you're a better man than me pal so uh well done to you yeah uh, all right buddy well listen you take care you have a wonderful wonderful day congratulations to yourself and uh, the lovely Nicola um, and uh, yeah have a great life yeah you will get a great life if you listen to me and just agree with everything she says and hopefully I will see you both soon take care bye bye
Finally, I'd like to discuss the Taylor family. Quite frankly, I'm not sure how Tony and Louise turned out so well with Alan Taylor as their father. This is the guy that once repaired a plug socket with a fork. This is a guy that once tested the new car barriers at the top of Bowl Street with his car. No, in all seriousness, the Taylor family are a beautiful and extremely close family. They took me under their wing throughout my time at Liverpool and I'll always love them for that. I've only met Nick's family a couple of times, but from these meetings, I can tell that they are a close unit too. I've got absolutely no doubt these two families will merge perfectly. Well, this talk is drawing to an end, but we've got time for one final word from an old friend. Hey Tony and Nicola, how's it going? John just wanted me to congratulate you guys on getting married. Hopefully you're celebrating with family and friends. Oh, friends, wedding friends. And uh, I see that the hair transplant has worked, Tony. Um, you managed to bag yourself uh, a hot Spanish wife. Good for you. Um, but listen, I want you to have a long, happy marriage. So here's my wedding gift for the pair of you. I'm going to have a word with Tony. I'm going to teach him how to put the balls in and how to do the one-pump orgasm. And that way he'll be able to guarantee Nicola's clunge a lifetime of happiness. Uh, but until then, enjoy yourselves, have fun, and don't be a pair of bus wankers. Congrats.